every dog was created for a specific purpose. The pit bull was created to be the best fighting dog ever created. This is not a dog that was created to be aggressive towards people. And so, the love that it has for people is unparalleled. It's my boy Adam Baum right here. I hate hearing someone's down this breed of dog because of what they've seen on the news. Learn something about it, you know what I mean? The Dobie was the bad dog in the 60s. Right. Yeah. Right. The German Shepherd was the bad, bad dog, dog in the 70s. Roddy's was the bad dog in the 80s. And pit bulls became the bad dog yeah. in the 90s. Mm -hmm. What bad. made it different? You got idiots who don't know jack about these dogs, got them in their hand and saying, I'm a breeder. I'm this and I'm that. And they ain't nothing. That's right. Five years ago, there may have been 100 pit bull breeders in California. Currently, 10,000. If you own a pit bull in the city and county of San Francisco, then it must be spayed or neutered. We're just overloaded with the breed. He coming! He coming! Good! Good! Yes! Yes! yes. Of course, you, you do have a little bit more element of danger in some of your urban neighborhoods. So those people tend to get a dog to protect their yard. And that's where, you know, the breeze is getting real hit hard now is in the inner city. Because you can you can buy them from backyard breeders for 50 to to $100. Say, oh, I got a pit bull. Let me breed Crazy Joe's dog around the corner to my badass bitch. And uh, we're going to have some crazy ass puppies, you know what I mean? And it's mantra to own a pit bull. All right, if it's a subtle neighborhood, then pre predominantly the people that live in that subtle neighborhood would want to have a subtle dog. If it's an aggressive neighborhood, then everybody want a tough dog. Don't nobody want no dog that's no punk. This is South Central Los Angeles, and a lot of things happen in South Central Los Angeles. I don't want to walk around with a gun or a knife in my pocket expecting something to happen, but I do want to be prepared for it. Let me go get my gun. Jeff is going to get his gun. A pit bull, he is the warrior of all dogs. But if you socialize him, then he's just like any other dog. You can go to these barbecues at the parks. You can go to these dog shows. You can go to weight pulling shows. And when you look around, you see whites, Hispanics, blacks, Asians. And they're talking, they're laughing, and they're all there because of the breed. The people think I'm nuts for even trying to do this sport with this breed of dog. Bingo. <laughs> I just like doing it with them though. I've always liked doing it with the alternate breeds just because people say they can't. I want to show them differently that they can. Even when I'm old and I can't compete anymore, I want a pit bull at my side. Work Johnny. Work Johnny. My big boy Johnny, he weighs 114 pounds. He's two years old now, he's not quite fully matured. This year though, pulling wise, he'll be coming into his own. I'd say right now, he's just a click off. Of the two best right now. It's, it's totally against their nature to be aggressive to a human being. They ain't taking my dogs from me. They're gonna have to bring the, the army to come get my dogs. Your dog go out there and hurt somebody, they need to lock your butt up for a good long time. If we don't take responsibility and somehow curb the numbers, the breed will be taken out of society. It's the people. It's not the dog. 